Oh, everybody, there is this wild rumor going around, and not me to do that, that the uh, KTM 250 is goaded and that it may or may not be faster than its older brother, the KTM 450. So today we're going to be giving that out or giving that a try, trying that out, testing that theory out, and uh, yeah, going down in the first corner. So yeah, sorry guys, uh, I didn't realize that I had my desktop audio off, so you guys are gonna have no game sounds, but that gets fixed when we switch over to the 450s, so um, it'll be fixed then, but for now you guys won't have it, so sorry. But yeah, we'll basically kind of get this warm up lap, and then we'll be able to um, move to like a five lap series, or a series of five laps, and then uh, we'll take the best lap time we can get and the best ideal lap that we can get and compare it to the 450 after we do the same thing, same amount of laps, and uh, we'll see what sort of uh, data result we'll get. Um, I spent quite a bit of time on this track yesterday, actually, so I know my way around it pretty good. So far, probably hasn't looked that way, but uh, I'm pretty okay with, uh, you know, where your guys' opinions are at on my riding because you know plenty of you guys are out there are quick to uh to hate but i've seen i've seen some of you guys kind of kind of compare yourselves to me and or kind of compliment me and you know that that's just enough to uh to not really make me care what all the, the haters think but once these laps are gonna matter i'm gonna i'm gonna put my head down and we're gonna put out some uh some absolute heaters for sure if you guys are curious what my best lap on here is i think it's a 127.4 um so one minute 27 seconds 0.4 um hopefully you know you guys have done better and if you guys have let me know because this is like the kryptonite of this game for me it's this track these type of tracks sand tracks that have uh like little things that can kick you out every here and there and uh, I feel like, you know, I have done enough to or uh, like practiced enough and played enough to learn how to stay alive on tracks like this. So we'll see how that really ages um, right here. Not great on that inside for sure. Jump right into this little divot area. Head up here, come down, try to jump over all this and then like triple almost triple double. And then into that, like you kind of want to look at this as like a rhythm section, like a double into a 90 degree right there. Come out of that and just try to keep the back wheel on the ground. Couldn't quite clear over that. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. Click down into second gear, start to slow down. I need to not head into that with uh, while I'm standing up. I keep forgetting because like there's a bunch of bumps in front of that and I just never tend to uh, pick it up or sit down again. So. It is what it is. Head right here. This is where I found like one of my strong suits was this these sections right here, these last two. But unfortunately, we go down on the last, uh, like the second to last corner, and then this corner I will definitely have to get used to again. So uh, for a first lap, it wasn't horrible. One thirty-two three, pretty much, and so that'll put us in like a good spot for an ideal lap. We had some good sectors in there. That we didn't really crash. I probably want to shy away from this outside. I don't think it is faster than the inside. Um, okay, I'll tuck the front right there. That's fine. Trusting the bike a little too much because I did do this on the Honda. And that's kind of where all my trust went was uh, in the Honda. So speaking of the Honda as well, I spent three and a half hours pretty much last night um, working on a new Honda setup. So... I don't know if I'll keep it to myself because I truly think it is incredible. I was able to beat all of my best laps. Every track I hopped on, I made minor tweaks and adjustments, and then I just got to work with it for outdoors, and then I'll have an outdoor setup for you guys as well. But I don't know if I want to give it out just because I truly think it is that good. Like, it's so hard to front, like front tuck. It just doesn't happen in like any E road or anything like that. And then Seattle, I had that bike working on that track. So um, I was able to click off some of my best laps on four different tracks. So if that doesn't scare you, I mean, it's a, it's one hell of a bike. And mind you, I had qualifying laps already for all four of the tracks that I am mentioning here. So, I mean, it is a incredible incredible setup it looks like we will come across and better our lap by 0.2 seconds 
pretty much and so 0.21 seconds we improve our lap by so i'm gonna head towards this inside little too far inside doesn't really matter i mean it does and it doesn't though way better run through that corner we're four seconds up meaning we are we are in 128 territory and then we're 4.7 seconds up which puts us in the good enough territory um uh, here on our what third lap looks like it just trying to keep on top of all this stuff right here not trying to fall too far behind definitely need to hit further left on that corner uh, even if it doesn't set me up as good for that corner I have to slam into here. I'm going to try to just do that. Oh, it's such a bad line trying to double there instead of single double instead. So it does slow you down a tad bit, which is fine. You know, you, you can live with it. And then we'll head to this inside right here. We had a very bad run. We lost about four tenths right there. I think we just made it up, though. And then in this corner, we're down another few tenths. So... Through those two switchback corners and whatnot, we can get a little bit better. Definitely got better through there. And then this corner right here. Oh, I tried to I tried to send it. I tried to send it. Unfortunately, I probably well, fortunately I did, because it would have been one hell of a lap and an ideal to be on the last sector there. But uh we did better our lap. We're down to a 131, about 131.7. So uh, or 131.8 pretty much so we're we're taking our slow wins here we're already up on our lap again which is a very good sign i'm gonna try to i didn't want to dart that far inside we're gonna probably lose a little bit of time slow it down oh no we'll take that minor mistake there try to take that oh i tried to take the outside to inside right there might might have been faster but lap four is pretty much scrap at this point um i don't think i'm regaining four seconds and and some and across for our last lap here we're gonna have to make it count as i almost go down i would have i don't know what i would have done there i really don't but we're gonna take this outside we're gonna just try to floor it around try to jump inside oh my goodness gracious we're gonna have to get up and go man this is this is rough we're two seconds down we've got we've got things to do we've got places to make time up oh man that is so annoying that's such a bummer i was running really consistent laps on this last night but it unfortunately is not last night so you can't really think that it would translate over into the next morning as much as you you hoped right but uh definitely slowed down to we're down 2.7 seconds basically i'm gonna try to take that on inside right there click off a few try to keep that back wheel grounded scrub over that just try to get through smoothly right here i'm not going to like completely go for it but definitely take a way better angle get that back tire digging and whatnot i'm going to do the same thing here oh i didn't quite get the run i wanted and or needed oh we're launched a bit sideways right here might set us up a little bit more funky for that inside right there we're gonna have to find this inside as well which we did and then that will slingshot us forward for a 129 782 so 129 8 basically i'm curious to see what the ideal is because i don't think it'll actually be that high go here go to laps and then how you see your ideals a 126 1 and our best was a 129 7 so this is a really good ideal lap and then, uh, yeah, we'll have to put something together on the 450, but I'll document these times and switch over to the four. Bear with me, boys. You guys did not have game audio from that first 250, whatever. So you guys weren't able to hear the, uh, the 250 forking out there. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to go redo it. I'm not on a tight schedule, but it is a bit later. And uh, if I can find time to do it again, I will. So you guys wouldn't even know about that. But had audio issues there in that first uh 250 go around go about it but now we're on the 450 we're gonna be trying to uh you know work it in work the the tempo work the consistency because we still need to put up like a solid lap i think for my first lap i'll just go for a sub you know 130 and then we'll try to put on the burners and whatnot and try to see what we can get done all is definitely easier said than done but uh we'll definitely see what we can do 
Uh, ooh, you can jump into there for sure with a good, uh, a good run up there. And then this thing, it feels a little bit more heavy, so a little bit more drive into these corners isn't horrible. Uh, it's not going to be our best friend, but uh, if we can just consistently get stuff done, I think that will be pretty good. Oh, did not mean to switch it up like that much. Good save, though. Uh, 450, it's not a huge difference in the sand, so... Uh, or, or huge difference other than, like, over the 250 in the sand. But about to cross the finish line to start our first lap here on the 450 go around on it. I'm going to try to get creative and go out here. Uh, obviously, a bit slower, uh, especially with the way that I took it. Able to get the inside there, and then flying around. So, like I said, we're just going for a sub 130. So I'm not trying to push the issue too much, but uh, you know I'm still messing up a lot. And uh, we can't really do that probably in the second half. Oh boy, getting a little squirrely already as well. Jump to the inside again. So right now we are not moving at all. So. Definitely need to do something about that. We'll try to put in a uh, second half of a lap here. A very nice second second half of this lap. For sure, we're going to have to do uh, something to, about it. Try to jump up and over that. That seemed a little faster. Uh, not like tremendously. And then we're going to tuck the front. Oh, that's unfortunate. We were not on the way to a sub 130. I don't think so, but a 130 would have been fine. I mean, we'll see when all said and done. Fall to this outside rut as well. This thing is carrying a lot more weight and power than the 250, so it's going to take a moment of adjustment here. Oh, and smaller mistakes can turn into bigger mistakes, like, immediately as well. But one thing I can tell you is it's moving pretty well. Just like all things considered, it's not really going to be treated like a 450. So we'll see how that... What in the... Well, I think I've crashed like three other times on this lap. Make it four. Um, not off to a good start. So we'll see what we can do here with lap numero uh, tres. I mean, it's going to be well, like really tough to get anything. I don't even have deformation on, so this is a lot worse than I thought I'd be. Uh, like all things considered, I thought that this would be a lot better. Uh, not a lot easier, but just better. I thought that this would be a, a whole lot better for me, for sure. But uh, the 250 is definitely easier, and I'm not the person that probably should be testing this. Or we get someone like Linz or, or someone that's good on both bikes, because I'm, uh, you know, strictly a 250 guy, pretty much. So uh, that doesn't really, like, count into anything, really, so... Um, you know, I can't really say, oh, this 450 is the best in the game. Because, like, obviously the Yamaha is, first of all. Second of all, like, I don't really know, right? Like, I don't ride it enough to have uh, a highly, you know, wanted opinion about it. And this, I tucked last lap around there as well. We are three seconds up right now, which is really good. And if we can put together the end of this lap very nicely which uh um we can't then uh we would have had a very good lap uh compared to the 250 but unfortunately not the case and we probably have an ideal lap of about i don't know a 128 by now so it's not looking good i'm gonna have to slow it down a lot to continue in a, in a good line here jump inside again went a little too far inside it is what it is same thing here i'm gonna try to jump like too far inside just to like safely get the line jump over this third gear into here um bad run bad run for sure slow it down and just try to like carve up this inside it might be a little bit faster jump back into here ship down into second again and then get up and out of there just go over this. Should have slowed it down. And we're down again. Can't over jump one thing on this track. I mean, it's so stupid. It's just so set in stone. It's like, if you are going to make a mistake, it's just going to happen inevitably. You can't do anything about it. I'll hit you guys on my next lap here. Which will be the last lap. And here we go. 
to the last lap here. I'm gonna fly down here, go second gear, stand up. Oh, oh, I'm happily jumping to that outside, uh, for sure. I don't think that that inside is much faster anyways. And then we're gonna try to take her a little slow through here, despite the really good start on the lap, but we're gonna have to uh, definitely slow things down if we're gonna want a faster lap. Uh, a lot of people don't really understand that concept, and that is kind of what people, some people get screwed with, is like, you have to know your, your limits and boundaries. And so if you're always pushing, yeah, sure, once in your 50 laps, you will get that one burner. That is absolutely good for how good you are. But most of the time, you can slow down, and then you can put up a solid lap which is what like I'm trying to do, or what I tried to do, like that was my approach, was to put down a solid lap, and then just keep chipping away at it. So like, this one right here just got really sketchy, but say I were to put down a 130, like, first, and then I do something differently, try to get a little bit faster, try to push through one section, try to get a little bit faster through there, and then it just slowly increases in speed and time, and then you're looking golden, pretty much. Headed into this last corner here. He oh, uh, setting down burners. That is a 127.032. So, best lap time was better. And the ideal lap time probably is a little bit better as well. Oh, no, it wasn't. So, the lap time right here, we set down a 127.032. An ideal was a 126.441. But on the 250, our best lap was a 129.782. And then the best ideal that we had, or the ideal lap that we had, was a 126.163. So, that'll be all for me. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you more than you guys know. I'll see you guys next time. Consider liking, subscribing, especially if you watched all the way to this point. It means a lot. See you guys next time. See ya.